first of all, I want to apologize. Um, I've kind of been suffering from a cold this past week or so, and so my voice is kind of scratchy, and I, I just want to apologize if it's kind of difficult to hear me or if I cough or anything. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can, so just bear with me. Um, okay. Sometimes decisions can be made by one person, and sometimes it takes 12 people to reach a final verdict. In the case of the movie The Twelve Angry Men, it took 12 angry men to reach a final just verdict for the defendant. When comparing each of the jurors to myself, I found that Juror 4 was the most similar to me. This is because I would consider myself to be a logical thinker and a stubborn person. Juror 4 played a crucial role in the deliberation of the verdict with his emotions, his social status, and his role in the group. <coughs> First, he used his emotions to affect the group. Actually, he didn't show much emotion, but that's, that's the way he was. He tried not to get emotionally involved, and this was so he could make a, a right, just verdict without letting his emotions play a role or factor into what his conclusion was. Most of the movie, he believes the defendant is guilty, and that's because his first, his first assumption is that, and he sticks to that and doesn't let anything change his mind because of, there's no facts to prove, them, prove him otherwise. And he's, that kind of plays into him being a stubborn person, and he's, that's just the way he is. And because he believes that what he thinks is right, there's no facts that prove him otherwise. And also because uh, when Juror 8 brings up hypothetical situations um, to try to prove that the defendant is not guilty, he doesn't believe any of those things because they're all hypothetical and they're not facts, and he's all about the facts. Um, the second uh, reason he, or the second way he affects the group is through his social status. Um, he's a wealthy stockbroker, and he dresses like a, a businessman, and a well, wealthy businessman. Um, and this is, this makes him higher up on the social spectrum um, because of his wealth and knowledge and so he's more respected by others and he's also uh... he's also respectful of others um... <laughs> <coughs> excuse me um... he's respectful of others because of his the way he was brought up he, he accepts what other people are saying and listens to them even though he has his own opinion he's pretty stubborn about his own opinion but he still listens and accepts the opinions of others because of his higher class uh, social upbringing and um, the final the final uh, way he affects the group is through his role in the group um, I believe juror 4 played the role of the analyzer in the group of jurors um, in the text that we read uh, the analyzer was defined as the member who probes the content and evidence that is presented in the group um, juror 4 is the analyzer because he is the most logical thinker. He's the one who takes the facts and he probes them, um, like goes through them, you know, analyzes all those and he takes the evidence that he's given and takes it all in and comes to his conclusion and takes in everything and reaches that final conclusion. Um, I, to sum it all up, uh, Juror 4 was a respectable and important member of this group. Juror 4 played a crucial role in the deliberations of the verdict with his emotions, his social status, and his role in the group. And I guess the final thought is that every group member has their own role, and each are just as important as the others.